Now for this next part, we're told that we've got a tangent to the curve C where t equals pi upon 3 and uh, it cuts the x-axis at a point P and we've got to find the x-coordinate of P. Now to appreciate a problem like this, I always like to draw a sketch. I'm not saying that the sketch of the graph has to be accurate to appreciate what's going on, but nonetheless just draw a sketch. For something like this though, I mean when t equals 0, you can see that we end up with x equals the sine of 0, which is 0, and y equals 2 tan of 0, which is 0. So this graph clearly goes through the origin. So I'm just going to draw a curve, something like this, okay? This is our curve C, and we've got a point on this curve C where t equals pi upon 3. I'm going to assume that it's this point here where t equals pi upon 3. And we've got the tangent at this point t, so we'll just draw that in, draw a tangent, something like that. Okay, it's just missed that, but hopefully we can live with that. And we're told that this tangent crosses the x-axis at this point here, p. And we've got to find the x-coordinate then of this point. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, a tangent is a straight line, and any line has this particular form, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, and x1, y1 is a point on this line, and it has to be this point here, x1, y1. So we're going to need to find out what x1 and y1 are, are when t equals pi upon 3. We can substitute that into our parametric equations here and get the corresponding x and y values. And as for m, the gradient, well we just need to substitute t equals pi upon 3 into dy by dx and that will give us the gradient. And so once we've got the gradient m, x1, y1, we should be able to work out what our equation of the tangent is, and we know that at the point P, the y-coordinate would be 0. And we should be able to solve this equation then for x. So hopefully that's given you an outline of how we're going to tackle this problem. So you might even want to pause the video at this stage and have a go. OK, well if you did pause the video and have a go, I'm just going to now run through the solution with you. So first of all, we're going to need to get x1, y1, and that's when t equals pi upon 3. We just substitute it up into these two equations. So I'm going to say that when t equals pi upon 3, then we get x equals sine squared of pi upon 3. Now the sine of pi upon 3, pi upon 3 members in radians, that's the equivalent of 60 degrees, and you should be familiar with this, sine of 60 degrees is root 3 upon 2, and we need to square that, so we're going to have root 3 upon 2 all squared. And that clearly comes to 3 quarters. So that is our x1 value, okay, this point here, 3 quarters. We also need to get our y1 value, so we can say that when t equals pi upon 3, y is going to equal 2 tan of pi upon 3 radians. The tan of 60 degrees, if you like. And so tan of 60 degrees, or pi upon 3 radians, is root 3, times it with the 2, and you end up with exactly 2 root 3. We also need the gradient, our value of m, at t equals pi upon 3. So we can get that as well. So we'll say also dy by dx equals, and we're going to have 1 then divided by the sine of pi upon 3 multiplied by cos cubed, cos cubed of pi upon 3. And if we work this out, we're going to have 1 divided by 
Now the sine of pi upon 3, the sine of 60 degrees, is root 3 over 2. And we need to multiply that by the cos of pi upon 3 radians, the equivalent of 60 degrees, which is a half, which we now need to cube. And so if you work that out, it comes to 16 over root 3. If you do this straight out on your calculator, the chances are your calculator will rationalise this and you'll find that you get 16 root 3 over 3 instead. OK, so we've got our values of x1, y1 and the gradient m at the point t equals pi upon 3. So now we can just go for the equation of the tangent. So we can say that therefore equation okay, of tangent okay, is and it's going to be y minus y1 so it'd be 2 root 3 equals m the gradient which is now 16 over root 3 multiplied by x minus x1 at 3 quarters. Now at p we know that the y coordinate is 0. So we could just say then at p, let's just border this off, okay, at p y equals 0. So therefore if we put 0 into here and multiply both sides say by root 3 we're going to have minus 2 times root 3 times another root 3 so that's going to be 2 times 3 which is 6 so we end up with minus 6 equals and then expanding the bracket we'll just have 16 now times the bracket so it'll be 16x minus and 16 times 3 quarters is going to be 12. Now if we add 12 to both sides we've got 16x equals 12 minus 6 which is 6 so dividing by 16 gives us that x equals 6 over 16 which reduces down to 3 eighths if we divide top and bottom by 2. So there's our x coordinate then at the point P, 3 eighths. Okay?